Hello YouTube, Blue Matona here, and welcome to episode number 15 of this Let's Play Rome Total War as Carthage Campaign, where we left off last time, the 4,000 man battle. Huge battle here at the city of Rome, we defended. Uh, you can see we actually get the uh, year of... Oh wait, no, that's not that's not the one we just fought, that was in 253. Alright, there have been a lot of famous battles here at the gates of Rome, as the Julii have been constantly moving in, moving in, trying to uh, attack with their full stacks. So we're going to have to get on the... Uh, Get a little bit of aggressive with them, no doubt about that. Um, I want to thank a lot of you for your comments. Uh, some really useful stuff, especially, um, yeah, Spinspur with your, uh, you know, talking about if you completely surround and cut off enemy troops, they'll still fight when they break, uh, meaning that, you know, they can still do damage to you. I, I know in a lot of, you know, for instance, in a lot of later um, Total War games, the routing troops could still do damage to you if you go chase them down, but in this game, that's not usually the case, but apparently it can be. Um, also, some, yeah, some advice on assassins, kind of getting them leveled up. Um, uh, you know, I, I'll get some assassins back. I mean, that one assassin was just doing great work against the Julii. I got overconfident with him, and, you know, ultimately that, that was a little bit tough, but not the end of the world. And, um, yeah, leaving the Numidians as a buffer over here against um, Egypt, I actually think that's a really smart idea. I do want to take this settlement... Um, the one that's owned by rebels, as sort of just at least a, a closer point of contact to my um, to my colony here on Crete. Um, you know, where basically I'm just using this this uh, this Cretan area as a place to try to recruit Cretan archers. Um, obviously, we have some of those. Oh wait, this is back under blockade. Can I win this fight and knock him out? I should, right? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, knock him out. Get that trade back before I hit end turn here. Um, all right, good. That'll help with finances. That's a lot of uh, that's a lot of trade income I would pass up on otherwise. That's almost a thousand income that I wouldn't get if that was blockaded. Um, yeah, here we have our small fleet carrying our uh, Cretan archers. Unfortunately, I was not able to get this fleet into reinforcement range, um, which is a huge bummer. I think I'm going to take this fleet. Let's get. Let's just connect the three together here, make it a bit stronger. I really want to get these Cretan archers over into the Roman, um, the Roman theater. So we're gonna we're gonna try to do that. Um, yeah. Okay. So again, like I, I thought, I kind of started this campaign, or I thought I ended last video more at the start of a turn, but it seems like again I accidentally, you know, did it a little bit here towards the end of a turn. But um, yeah, we got really a really good force here. Long shield calves, some Libyan spearmen, and sacred band. Six units of good sacred band moving up towards Rome. Uh, here in Rome itself, we are training twenty infantry and retraining many troops. Um, outside of Rome, we have you know full army that doesn't need to be retrained. And yeah, it would be you know we need to get on the offensive here with the Julii. They just they have so many armies sitting around. Um, down here, we don't I have a. I thought I have a force that was moving down towards... Maybe I already retrained. Retrained them. Uh, yeah, we got some Julii... Navies over here. Let's go hit them while we can. They both scattered. Yeah, it's really hard to sink navies in this game. And then we'll move this navy into the port. Maybe next turn we can, uh... We can retrain that, uh... That navy up and, and add in another, uh... Another trireme, um... Units. Yeah. Okay. Um, finally, let's take a look over in the Iberian uh, Theater. Yeah, so we, we did take, obviously, the settlements here. Um, we got some retraining happening right now. Um, took the settlements, so we have all of uh, Iberia pretty secure now. There are no more enemy armies in the region. Uh, we'll march that army north. We have two armies north currently um, that are linked together, and a, I, I, once again, another very large uh, Britain force, mostly of, you know, warband and swordsmen, pretty typical. One chariot archers and a um, general's chariot. Uh, here, we want to take this town of Narbo Martius, because, I, again, like I said, I think a t uh, taking this town and putting a fort right here between, uh, right, uh, right here, crossing that bridge would stop any... Any push from the north has to come across this bridge, or it has to come this direction. So, uh, this will be where we hold the line against, uh, to, to defend Iberia. Um, obviously we're gonna need to go take this settlement first, and I would love to take this settlement too. What is this, Medialanum? Or Massilia, Massilia, yeah. Um, maybe we could actually even get an army moving in this way against the Julia to put some pressure on the north, so that they can't just keep all their armies here in the south, uh, which has been a little bit of a, uh, tough situation. Um... 
tough situation for me here. Okay, so yeah, and then here in, in this region, I mean, you know, nothing too crazy going on. We do have rebels. We have rebels there. Um, we have this army moving, moving to the west. Uh, sorry, to the east. Uh, I would love to actually get... I think this force just needs, like, some basic... You know, some basic infantrymen. Can I take, like, three units out of Thapsis without them getting super mad at me? No, but they're on high tax rate, so we can just drop that down to, to low tax rate. We're gonna get these guys coming and meeting up with the, uh... With the army. Um, get a couple just basic units of infantry. Obviously, we'll grab these Libyan spearmen as well on the way. And, uh, we'll march them uh, up here to that rebel town. Um, alright, so I don't think there's anything too crazy else that we need to do here. Let's jump into our list scroll really quick. Um, yeah, we got a spy who's kind of glitching out by Retium, but you can go back in. Um, we have our diplomat over here. Yeah, honestly, I think you can kind of just stay. Uh, I don't want... After I take the settlement, I'd be willing to try to get peace with the Britons, but I don't need to yet. Um, we have a diplomat here. Why don't we keep you moving? Yeah, we can see this is a lot of Greek uh, settlements. They've definitely, they've definitely won the war against Macedon, no doubt about that. We do have our spy up here as well. You've already used your uh, action this turn, so why don't we move you actually back up this way, keep an eye on what's going on up there. And then our spy in Siwa, that is probably just going to live out the rest of his life there. Um, that's, it's kind of funny, but there's just literally uh, no need to, need to move them. Yeah, okay, we got our armies. Just giving a quick check. Armies in place. Armies in place. Armies in place. Yes. <clears throat> in place in Numantia because we are retraining there. Yeah, Palma Ferry Fleet. Army there. Bomocar moving north. That is great. Admiral, Admiral. Admiral. This Admiral has an army that we will drop off in um, Iberia as well. Move that up to the north. Army moving in Carthage. Yeah, looks like everybody is pretty good with where I want them. The only thing I saw was Carthage. We have a general here, 24 years old. Um, he's got, yeah, he's got some nice, some nice stuff. Command talent, confident commander. I mean, maybe we can move him to the front line. I mean, we only have one general going this way, but we don't need two generals going that way. Honestly, I don't even know if I want to bring a 20-year-old general with me. We might have to just send a captain um, this direction. I don't really know if I need a general for that. I think generals I want to move up into this into that uh, area, so I might actually move him, sail him up towards... Uh, maybe we actually do a little island hopping campaign over here against the Julii. Uh, go retake our or what was originally our province here, like in Sardinia. Um, okay. So, that's good to keep in mind. Let's, uh, this, uh, navy with an army here. I actually might, instead of dropping off that army in southern, um, Iberia, where I don't need them, I might actually just go up the coast and we'll just sail them up this direction. We can even pick up, uh, this force on the way. I think I have the space. Yeah, I'll have the space. So we can even pick up that force on the way and get them up here quickly. We can even maybe drop them off right next to Moalia. Um, M Massilia, sorry. Uh, Massilia. And let's go to the next turn. Alright, big fight. Where is that? Ah, the Julii did come and attack my fleet. Shoot, that has the Cretan archers on it, and they do have a, a slight advantage, a 9 to 8 strength ratio advantage. Let's see if I get a lucky win. Average defeat. Alright, my navy retreats out. That is unfortunate. Um, oh, and the Briton army attacked me. Okay. Alright, let's do it. So we have a full force, so we're going to leave this one to AI control, because otherwise we won't be able to use them. Um, let's fight the battle on the map. Wow, big first battle here. Alright, start deployment. So, super cab heavy army. Um, I think my reinforcements should come in from behind me. We'll see how they, like, but I, I think with this much cavalry, I think I can literally, like, I really think I can literally, like, just... Like, I think I can literally just charge the, uh... Yeah, there's my, uh, there's my AI reinforcements. What do we got? Yeah, we got, this is more infantry focused. Uh, the skirmishers and a, uh, ground shield cav. Uh, let's see what they do. Let's see if they see where, like, I'm set up. Um, and, and kind of, actually, we're not going to group them because I don't want them moving awkwardly together. Let's move that cav up, though. 
I mean, I really think I should just, with this much cavalry, I should just be able to, like, hit the... Uh, I, I should be able to sweep through a lot of this, uh... A lot of this infantry that they have. Like, I love Rome 2 with their... How you can do the large army battles, and you just... It expands the screen, and you can control more troops. Like, I would love it if these guys just came and met up with my force, but I don't know how they're going to... Um, I don't know how they're going to play this, the AI. But we're going to go, and we're going to try to hit their flank and just take out as many of these, uh as many of these infantry units as we can, because with this much cavalry, we really, we should be able to do, we really should be able to do a lot of damage, like, with these charges, and just basically insta-route a unit, get a bunch of kills on the router, and then move on to the next one. So, yeah, it, it's lagging a little bit. Definitely whenever we go above the normal, the normal, uh, army capacity, the game starts to lag a bit. Um, but let's, uh, let's go ahead and let's see what happens. Let's get some charges in here with the cavalry. And we did get a we did get a route on those guys. Yeah, we got a route on them. These guys didn't route. No. All right, pull out to the side, please. I'm surprised that unit of swordsmen didn't route. Fifty four of them. Very surprised. All right, let's get a let's pull into a, a position here. And looks like yeah, they are pursuing, which is which is fine. Yeah, their line is a complete mess. Just men everywhere. Oh, we're under missile fire. Um, probably from the... Yeah, we're under missile fire probably from the uh, uh, chariots. Um, the the archer chariots. So, we're going to keep these cav cavalry active and, and charge right into this uh, warband's unit. And again, let's hope with this much cavalry... There we go. We get, the, we get the quick route and then we can just wipe out the unit. And then literally, let's just move right on to the next one, and let's see how uh, let's see how long we can keep this up before our uh, progress gets a little stalled here. There we go, that unit routed. So that's going to be, uh, yeah, we're going to wipe them out super quickly. We've got another Warband unit here. Let's turn on them. There we go, yeah, see, they're just routing. There's such a bulk of cavalry that they just, uh, they literally can't stand up to it. And yeah, the rest of the force is moving forward, Mike. Cartage AI is is advancing forward, so let's get my troops up forward as well. Yeah, we did a great job there. Let's see if we can't go take out their warlord with my cavalry. Let's just go wipe them out. If I can take out the warlord, the rest of this force should uh, should um, route pretty pretty dang quickly. But yeah, we just took out like a huge swath of their army here. I mean, look at all these, look at all that dead infantrymen, dead Britain infantrymen. Um, yeah, so we're gonna just charge in with our warlord. This is a uh, you know just ground shield cab, not crazy valuable, and let's see if we can go, uh, just swamp them and take them out. They actually, uh, seem to be running from me. Alright, we can take out that swordsman unit on the way. But yeah, a lot of guys, um, a lot of guys are engaged here. Yeah, I mean, we're just taking out their infantry no problem with all this cav. Took a bit of losses with my slingers. I, I, I took them off skirmish mode and then sent them too far forward, so they took some hits. Um, not the end of the world. I mean, this is literally just a, a cavalry swarm strategy battle here. You guys turn in on the general. What is this? Oh, that's, uh, that's the AI round shields. Yeah, we're gonna just go in on the general here with the cav too. There we go. Alright, we got him. We got him. Great. Let's turn in and use my cavalry to just take out the rest of these units. And yeah, this should be a pretty uh, pretty sound victory here. There we go, we got them. General, you want to chase down someone? We chase down those swordsmen there. Alright, well done, guys. Uh, we actually got a couple more units over here, so let's make sure we keep on them. But yeah, general, take out those swords. Alright, yeah, that was pretty quick. We can actually, let's pull out, like, one unit at a time here of my round shields to chase down some of these routers and, and make sure they don't get off the field. Yeah, then the rest here, you can stay on the warbands. There, they routed. Let's go just take out that entire unit while we're while we're chasing them. And then what do we got here? Our swordsmen. Yeah, we'll take those out, and that should be that should be pretty much that. There we go. 
you guys go ahead and turn on the warbands, please. Yeah, this is just, uh, router chasing at this point. General, why don't you go after those swords? Oh, that's our unit. Ha! <laughs> that's actually our unit. No, don't want to do that. Yeah, these guys here are, are catching up. You guys don't need to keep chase up anymore. Yeah, we got one, two, and three. And then, honestly, these six units, there's actually a full unit of warband trying to run away there. Let's make sure that doesn't happen. And general, yeah, let's see. Can you get to these swords in time? Let's see. Nah, looks like they, uh, they might get a hit. Yeah, they got a hit. All right. These guys, yeah, we're going to put it on fast forward now because it's, it's basically the end of the fight. These guys, just, yeah, that, that warband unit actually broke. Um, let's go take him out, though. Yeah, let's just let's take out this whole unit, make sure they don't come back. Nice. Alright. Very successful battle. Very successful battle. Uh, the AI actually didn't do a terrible job there. I probably managed my infantry worse than the than the uh, than the AI managed theirs, to be honest with you. Alright, so we won that one, and what do we have here? We have a Numidian fleet. Oh, no. Is that my retreated ones that are carrying the, the Cretan archers? Come on, please get the win. Ugh! Disengage. Oh, that is brutal. Alright, wait, let's check on them really quick over here. They really got knocked back. I really don't want to lose those Cretans. Alright, we're going to go and we're going to move them back in the port. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta, can't lose the Cretan archers. Um, we're gonna bring this fleet down to escort them. So yeah, first and foremost, let's attack that Julii fleet on the way. And then yeah, these guys can move in tandem. And I definitely am gonna retrain those two units, bring in a new one. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll then, we'll have to reship the Cretan archers up. They, uh, I can't, I can't risk that, those units. Alright. Enemy army routes, great. We got the route on them, that is perfect. Uh, city expands, Serta. Uh, they expanded and now they're not happy. Eh. Who would have thought? Um, we can drop their tax right down a click. Let's uh, get one ranged unit of skirmishers in for defensive purposes. And I mean, we could just immediately do counselors chambers. We haven't really been, I mean, we haven't been on top of buildings because we've been spending so much money on the military. Um, Tarentum has expanded also. Uh, which is nice. Agents found in Tarantum, House of the Julii. That's not a surprise. Construction report. And the turn report. Alright. So, let's start in this section, in Iberia, because this is where we obviously had the large fights. We got a little rebel force of just one unit of warbands that popped up right there. And, um, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna combine those two units, and because I can't retrain them, we're gonna disband one unit of those uh, slingers. Um... Let's move my spy into the city, see if I can't just get an assault this turn on the city, because that's a pretty that's a pretty takeable city. Um we can definitely do some some unit combos. Absolutely we can do some unit combos. Uh, again, I just don't want to lose a unit though. If possible, so that might be all we can do. Let's move maybe the three unit there. Why don't you guys just take out the rebel while we're standing right there? We'll just go fight that really quick. They're right next to us. Yeah, we'll fight in the snow. Why not? Alright, so we'll, we'll, we'll fight this a little bit, like, properly here. Because I don't have enough cavalry to just charge into them. So we'll actually get a line and advance towards them. We do have the range advantage. We'll let my slingers get a couple shots in. Alright, what kind of ugly line is that? What the heck? No, come on. Form up a proper line, please. Alright, still not great, but, I mean, better. Fine. Alright, let's just run into position here. Skirmishers are in range, so, uh, or, yeah, the, the unit is in range of the skirmishers, so 
We'll take some shots in. I mean, if they don't want to advance, we will just let my skirmishers just take as many shots as they can. Looks like they're trying to get towards my cav. I mean, good luck with that. Not gonna happen. My skirmishers will, uh... We'll get a good amount of shots in on them here. Yeah, do some good damage. Okay, how the heck? Look how fast they're running. Oh my god. Are you serious? Look at that, they're almost as fast as the cavalry. Alright. Skirmishers might have gotten a little caught here. <laughs> that was a really weird how I've never seen like a in this game like a unit split like that. Um Like the unit like actually uh the unit actually like split up in like half. Like half stayed still and the other half kept running. Kinda weird, but we'll take him out. I don't think I'm gonna get a man man of the hour from this. It wasn't lopsided enough odds, it wasn't an impressive enough win. Yeah, no man of the hour, that's fine. Wasn't expected. Uh, Alright, let's see if I can't go hit the settlement this turn. Nope, didn't work out. Alright, we'll we'll go ahead and, uh, and build up some rams then. And this other, yeah, we got, I mean, we do have a force here. Like, they just have a lot of forces, like, sitting all over the place that could come in, and, like, all these forces could come in and reinforce. Um, we'll bring in our army here in reinforcement as well. And, uh, yeah, okay, so we got them under siege there. That's great. All right, what about here in Numantia? So, Numantia uh, has retrained everyone that they can, uh, which is literally every unit. Every unit here is full. Great, so let's take Theatocles. And if I wanted to move up this way, it'd be faster to go the southern route. Okay, so let's take Theatocles here. Any good mercenaries? No, not really. Um, and let's move, obviously, Cav first. We're going to take... Cavalry are not, you know, efficient for public order purposes in a city, so I don't need to leave them there. We will take all the cavalry with us. Uh, we will also... Let's mention 4,600 population. Why don't we get the next level Temple of Ball going, just for public order reasons. And, um... We'll leave... We'll leave a unit of Peltis there for defensive purposes. Maybe, like, a rebel stack pops up. Sire! I mean, can I literally, like, take all these guys out? I can't take all of them out, so they're gonna be kind of mad at me if I do. I could put up a uh, a peasants unit for public order purposes there. Uh, why don't we leave one unit there? They're still mad at me. Alright, we're gonna have to leave two. That's fine. At 65%, they'll be better next turn. I want these forces moving north, more towards where there's an actual fight to be had. Yeah, most of these settlements can just kind of last with small garrisons. Let's take this fleet. Yeah, let's keep them moving north. This army, I mean, as long as while well, the fleet is, you know, not in a position to pick them up, they may as well keep marching up. Yeah, that's fine. Why don't we get a, that extra unit of cavalry moving to the north? I mean, look at these epic battles here. Site of famous battle, site of famous battle, just moving through this pass. Love it. Uh, New Mancha, yeah, they'll be fine next turn. Uh, with the Temple of Ball coming up and a Peasants unit, they'll be fine. Uh, Tingi, um, yeah, they, they got a good enough garrison. <clears throat> I would love to get enough money to, to the point where I could start, uh, like, legitimately building buildings everywhere, you know, any given turn, but I just don't, I just don't quite have that yet. Uh, we'll take Mighty this General. army, keep marching. March. That Most army, keep marching. Alright. What about here in Iberia? I mean, Lilibium isn't that happy, but they're about to get the next level of Temple of Ball, and they have a Counselor's Chambers that they can build, so they'll be happier next turn. Like, Croton's not that happy. Um... Orders? Sorry about the quick break there, I, I got a phone call I had to take. Alright, so we're gonna keep moving north here in Italy as well. Like I said, I, I do want to get... We actually have four generals here. Uh, I do want to get aggressive with the Julii. I'm sick of them just building up their big stack armies and moving south towards me. We got to, uh, we got to get a little bit more aggressive with them here, and we have the troops and the forces to do that, I believe. So, 
I will. You know, I really, I really wanted the Cretans for this. Alright, it's gonna take a couple turns to get through. Like, I really wanted to go three Cretan archer units to, to back up my, uh, you know, in any enemy armies here. Um, Alright, so let's start, let's see what generals I have here. So we got 73-year-old Hasdrubal Cunning. We got 43-year-old, not amazing general, but he has wall breaker, plus two command when assaulting walls. Uh, and then here in the settlement, we have... 30-year-old, really high command, and 51-year-old outstanding. Um, I think he, Diegi's the honest, um, I think his time as a... <clears throat> I think his time as a general on the field might be done. Uh, I mean, he's an insanely, insanely good general, insanely good troops. Um, but, 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 you know, like, this kind... These kind of stats do wonders... For Rome, I mean, governor's influence giving thirty-five percent to public order bonus. Um, just, just that alone, you know, administration another hundred sixty seventy-six to income. Uh, it's just, it's. I think he's gonna be. He's earned. He spent the first, you know, thirty-something years of his life fighting and and out, outstanding general. And now he will be the governor of Rome. I think. I think that's the way to use him. Uh, we're gonna use him, the honest, and the other three generals here as my force that pushes forward. So let's um, let's gather here. So first and foremost, I just want to start strictly with the three generals that will be advancing. There's these three generals led by Hasdrubal Cunning, they will be the backbone of this force. Uh, next, but not uh, definitely not least, um, oh, we don't even have stables here. We can't retrain any cavalry here in Rome. Hmm. Yeah, these cavalry are kind of weak. Orders? Next but not least, we're going to take general. the healthy cav. My liege. That's ten units of cavalry in that army. That's Orders. more than enough. Alright. Then, we want to take Orders. our better infantry. So Orders. these two units of 20s. And you know, I mean, Orders. these guys will come join Orders. in. Honestly, what we could do is we could actually take one of these generals and put him on this army and advance a two-pronged assault here with two main armies. Um, better infantry, and then, uh, yeah, we'll take our unit of Sacred Band with us as well. And then we'll have three, four, five. Well, let's move the four units of Libyans in there. That these three unit spots remaining. Um... We'll do that, actually. Why don't we take, then, with the three unit spots remaining, some ranged units. And I know that I did not use the onagers or the elephants, though. Hmm. Why don't we take out a unit of round shields? Move it back into Rome. Unit of round shields, that'll be for the elephants. Because we definitely need elephants in here. And I would love to actually... I would really love to have the onagers as well. Let me actually take... This unit of... Let's move... Yeah, I, don't, I just don't think we need all that kind of worse cavalry. And let's move this unit in. And let's combine them into one full unit. And then we can move that unit back. And then the two units of onagers. So now we have two units of onagers, two units of peltis, and a Cretan archers is my range. We have solid infantry, some phalanx, some knots. We have elephants, and we have solid amount of cav. Um, including the three generals worth of cavalry. Um, that's a very good force, but I mean, there are like three full stacks here of Julii, so I, I, I need to kind of bide my time and decide when I want to advance. Um, this force over here, what do we have? We have one, two, three, four, five, six units of really strong... We have ten units of infantry, five units of cavalry. Um, why don't we add a Peltis to that army? Uh, actually, let's take... Yeah, let's take a general. We'll take my 30-year-old... General, you can go lead them. Marching army. And that leaves three spots Marching left. Um, hmm, what do I want to do with the last three spots here? Why don't we maybe get one more onagers built, trained up? And we can put an onagers in that army, and then the other two spots can eventually be for the Cretan archers. But for the time being, no, we actually have good... Five units of cav, six units of cav. There. Let's move one more unit of cavalry. We'll move this army forward. All right, we got two armies now. This force, this uh, this unit, I would love to get back down towards Syracuse. It's maybe 
have to start marching south. Yeah, I mean, we gotta we gotta keep our focus here in Rome. Let's get maybe uh stables or an armor. Armor would be nice. It's a lot of money, but let's do the armor. And then yeah, we're gonna we're gonna want to build up troops here. Yeah, I don't need the stables, I don't think, because I can just move them back here to Capua to retrain. And actually, that's what I'm going to do. Now I think about it. You guys, go back to Capua, please. Let's get you retrained. There. Uh, Tarantum. Yeah, we kind of used a lot of our funds of what we could be, you know, building um, units with. Why don't we get another Skirmishers unit, I guess? Um, that brings us pretty low on what we have, uh, you know, what we can afford financially. Oh, I forgot about... I wanted to retrain this navy, but that's going to just be... It's going to be too expensive. So why don't we... We don't need those skirmishers and torrents in this turn. Why don't we get rid of those? Oh, a new ship is 760. Yeah, that's expensive. Um, why don't we just retrain whatever we can here? Can I, like, do, yeah, I can just do two of those. We'll just retrain whatever we can. And, um... My liege. Can I move these guys up? Move yeah. Forward. I would love to get, like, one... Yeah, get maybe, like, another war elephants or something to, to sail up. But, uh... How much do I need for that? 2,500. Yeah, I'm just not going to be able to do that this turn. Um, Alright, so I think that might be a pretty good place to move on to the next turn. Yeah. Let's see what happens here. Alright, they combined into a bigger force and came and attacked me. Not really a too crazy surprise. Um... The issue here, here, the issue here is they attacked my weaker force that wasn't, you know, and not my full stack. I don't want my full stack AI controlled, so I'm actually gonna, I'm actually gonna retreat this back, withdraw from the battle. Run for your lives. Let's see what they do here. So, yeah, this is this force. Um, you know what we're gonna do? We're just gonna, we're just gonna withdraw. Yeah, I, I, I just think, uh, they, you know, I was kind of banging... Okay, this is really annoying, so I noticed we had Carthage and Kaidonia uh, blockaded the same turn. So that is, like, my two biggest trade provinces blockaded. I mean, look at what Carthage is making right now. Minus 1923. Want to see what happens when I... Let's see what happens when I dislodge the Navy. 1923 goes to negative 621, so that's that's another 1300 that I would have made if that wasn't blockaded. These little Julii, like, one-ship navies everywhere. I mean, look at this. Like, little one-ship navies everywhere. So annoying. Um, like, all these little, like, one-ships just floating around. Client kingdom established. That's kind of interesting. Alright, recruitment report, construction report. Agent found in Oscar. Most advanced faction is Egypt. Town grows. Tingi. Good for them. And for, yeah, we're going to lose a lot of money because of that. And Kaidonia. At third, making 39 right now. Let's go dislodge that 12. Yeah. 39 to 644. Ridiculous. Ready to sail. Ready to sail. Prepare to engage. At least we got some navies sunk. There's three navies we sunk this turn. And these guys, this is going to be just an escort. They're going to move together. Um, before I actually... I should have checked before. Do I have any more Cretans? No. No more Cretans. Alright. Back in the city you go. <clears throat> Alright. Super annoying. A lot of blockaded ports. Um, that just hurts trade. I mean, look at these, like, Julii navies. I mean, they're just all, like, little half-strength one-ships. Britain navy, one-ship. Britain Navy, one ship. Britain Navy, five ships. So, bigger one. Um, why don't we just hit this Navy before we Attack! continue moving? We get the sink. We get the sink. Nice. Victory. And yeah, no, we'll continue moving up the coast. Aye, aye, These guys, I guess I just kind of march them at this point. I mean, they're pretty much already almost there. Move out. Onward. Forward. Yeah. 
Keep marching them. This army can march up as well. Yeah, we got plenty. We got tons of troops moving up now into the Britons area. Um, all right, what do we got here? We got war dogs. We got some, yeah, some head hurlers, some slingers. Nothing too crazy. I just didn't want to. I just didn't want to attack them with you know AI controlled forces if I could help it. Like, uh, especially you know with a lot of these, um, a lot of these cavalry units kind of being on the half strength side after that last battle. And, you know, frankly, not really any good, uh, nothing really on the good side with regard to the infantry that I have in this fight. Yeah, we're just going to keep comboing these guys, and why don't we just combo a few of these weaker ones into a, a more full unit, and then we have, uh, one unit of eight cav... Why don't we bring you back to Asuka to be retrained? You can be replaced with a fresh unit of cavalry. Um, and why don't we take those units in, and that's our full force. Let's go attack now. Army strength ratio 1 to 2. I still think I, I will have the advantage here. Let's go, let's go hit them. Start deployment. Yeah, I mean, this is going to be our typical, you know, strategy versus the Britons, in that, um, yeah, you know, in that we are going to try our best to just sweep down the line with our, uh, with our overwhelming cavalry force. Enemy reinforcements have arrived in battle! So we're just going to immediately hit that same, try to hit that same strategy here. I mean, again, like these swordsman units, warband units on the flank really shouldn't, in theory, be too much of a threat. Let's go punch that flank really, really hard. See if we can't get a nice charge bonus, insta route. Alright, don't like the look of that, neither unit routed. Somehow, neither unit routed. Really? Wow. Oh, boy. Oh, shoot. Not a good sign. Not a good sign at all. Oh my god, this is a disaster. This is literally a complete disaster. My whole line's breaking. I'm just trying to get their warlord before retreating here. Come on, can we at least get the general? There we go, there we go, we got the general. Let's pull out you infantry units. You can just withdraw. No, come on. If I, t I want you out of the fray. Get out of the fray. Let's go. Yeah, some of these units got caught there. Come on, get out of there. <clears throat> My God. All right, that was a that was a disaster. That unit over there, just run. Shield Cav in general, come together. You guys, go ahead and route out. Route out. Wow. Um, yeah, they their line held against my cavalry, and, uh, and my line just completely disintegrated. I'm tempted to retreat out. I don't think my Cav can... I mean, maybe my cavalry, if I can pick off some of these units, you know, one by one. Maybe they can, uh... Maybe I, I, maybe I have a chance here? Don't know. It's definitely gonna be tough. 
No, oh, they routed. And let's see, if I go just smack that warband, uh, maybe we go after... Maybe we go after the British Light Chariots. Let's see. <clears throat> I don't think I have a chance anymore. But, uh, I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to do what damage I can. If I can go, if I can hit these Light Chariots out, that'll at least make the next fight a little bit easier. Yeah, let's just bulk hit them. Yeah, took them out pretty quickly. Nice. Let's move on to the swordsmen here. Yeah, these guys, without a general, come on, without a general, they should route pretty quickly. There we go. Right, move on to those swordsmen. Just keep moving one unit to the next. Don't get bogged down. I think I still have a chance here, because without a general, these units are going to just insta-route when this bulk of cavalry hits them. There we go. They insta-routed. All right, cab. Let's get around the side here. Actually, go hit that swords unit. They're kind of vulnerable. Yeah, see, see how they're just insta routing? It's because they have like no morale because the uh, they have no morale because the general um, the generals got taken out. Like my, I still have my general who has a lot of I think a lot of command stars. So he's actually really he's in, with him with him running with the cavalry. He's really improving uh, this cavalry's uh, abilities. Um, what do we have up here? Another Barbarian Warlord. Let's charge straight at him. If we can take him out, this, this is going to be a win. Come on, guys. Come on, if we can get this Barbarian Warlord, we win. I, I really think that. Let's see what happens. We're going to go straight into the Warlord. Yeah, if I can get this Warlord, if I can knock him out, I, I really think we win this battle. Come on. Come on. Come on, guys. Get him. We really not gotten him yet? Come on. He's running. We didn't kill him, but he's running. All right, let's give this cavalry some. Uh, let's give this cavalry some rest. Yeah, because they're very tired. If we, we let's just chill for a second, get them some rest if we can. All right, so we we did route. We didn't kill the general, but we did route him out. So we're gonna sit still here for a second, and let's let um let's let these guys recover. Like, see how some of them are exhausted and tired. Let's uh. If we can get them back to see now they're winded and very tired. Yeah, see it's improving. We're gonna we're gonna recoup their uh, their fatigue here. Looks like if they're not advancing on me, I will gladly I will gladly sit back and recoup my fatigue. Yeah, now some of them are just down the tired, warmed up. There we go. All right, they reformed the line. All right, we we've we've gained back enough. Let's let's start moving again. Yeah, we actually got our generals back to fresh, but the rest of the cavalry is still tired. What do we got here? Yeah, head hurlers, slingers. <clears throat> All right, come on, come on, guys. They don't have a general left. They gotta just insta break. Come on. Insta break, move on. Insta break, there we go. Come on, keep going. One more. Insta break, there we go. Go after the head hurlers. Those guys do a lot of damage. There we go. Yeah, without the generals, these these I remember uh, playing as Germania and like these units just don't. Um, <clears throat> they just don't have the. They just don't have the morale. Once a general's gone, they they struggle. So we'll gladly take advantage of that. And I think we... I really think we're going to win this fight. That's what I told you. I think if we can dispel, if we can get rid of that other general, I think this fight is ours. Yeah, take out that whole unit, basically. 
and let's let everyone get back into a uh, resting position here for a sec while they are reforming. Yeah, see, a lot of these guys are still exhausted, very tired. Let's uh, let's let that improve as long as we can. They're gonna kind of reform a line. Try again. Yeah, some of these units did come back. It's a bit risky, but I'm thinking we could actually just maybe punch straight up the middle here. Let's do it. General, I want you hanging back a little bit. Please don't die on me. <laughs> Let's see. Route. Move on to the next Warband unit. Route. Move on to the Slingers. Come on. There we go. There we go. Swordsmen down there. Yeah. Alright, perfect. Yeah, they, we're going to win this for sure. They only have a couple units left. Everyone back into position. Units form up. What do we got here? A Warbands unit? Not for long. Charge! There we go. Alright. Let's try to do some more damage this time, too. I don't want them coming back. We got really just two units left. So we can kind of chase routers here for a second. Yeah, see, some of these units that are, like, half strength that routed are, uh, are coming back. Like, I don't want to take any slinger shots. So let's let's make sure we go, yeah, knock them out. Make sure they don't return to the fight. And uh, looks like that unit of full, full unit of warband just routed. So it's actually, there we go. They all routed. All right. Good stuff. Good stuff. Way to go, guys. I can't believe we won that after that disastrous beginning. Yeah, these units really, without without a general, they are awful. Awful units. Or not even, <clears throat> not even just without a general, but without a, um, with a general that dies. Like, when you get that more, when they get that morale hit for their general dying, it is just brutal for them. Um, <clears throat> alright, I mean, we can, can we just literally turn on the city here? We got, like, no one left. We got a 40% chance of the gates being open. Ah, uh, we didn't get it again. Alright, kind of annoying. We gotta wait at least another turn. Uh, yeah, we did lose, definitely lost some, um, some units that fight. But put in reinforcements, but yeah, we got plenty of troops, uh, making their way, uh, making their way up here. So, not super concerned about that. Yeah, alright, so I think Iberia is pretty set for the time being. I think, uh, yeah, we got more troops coming up this way. Um, so I'm pretty happy with that. The Africa region... I mean, this is a pretty large <clears throat> low rebel force. I mean, it's it's got some bad units, but it's just uh, just in such an inaccessible zone. I mean, look at look near a city. Like, it just spawned right in the middle. Um, we don't really have the troops in any of these settlements to go take it out, and I don't want to train any to do that, so uh, we're not going to. Um, here in Carthage, yeah, let's just get the retraining done, please, and then just get another unit of basic elephants. Syracuse population growth is going down, which is good because their population is way too high. Um, yeah, and then we just got all these annoying little fleets. But once ready once these sail. navies make ready it back, we'll sail. you know we'll She's be able to do ready. a little bit more um, on that front. No, we got blocked. All right. Um, yeah. Got thousand remaining. Let's get another twenty infantry training up. Mighty general. This force, yeah, you're coming down to retrain. And what happened? Did I lose a unit here? Oh, I moved the general out. Right. Okay, so what units do I want to bring in? Uh, we actually don't have as much uh, cavalry as I'd like anymore in that force, so I'm going to fill that last spot with a cavalry unit. The Onager, you can go over there. And um, Rome is all of a sudden not very happy with me. Uh, we can drop the tax rate one click. It'll keep them nice and happy. And yeah, I'm just a little bit, like, a little bit hesitant to advance with this force. Because... 
it's just there's so many Julii guys up here. But let's go, maybe I can go kind of take that settlement. Let's see what happens if I just kind of move up a little bit here. Not possible, sire. Can't do it, sire. March. Full stack. All right, they got full stacks everywhere. I mean, can I attack? I can attack this force right in front of me. Uh, they got some ballistas and a lot of infantry. Uh, one unit of archers. Yeah, let's do that. That could be a fun fight. Let's do it. I think that's it. If we could take out a stack here, that'd be great. Alright. So yeah, we are fighting in the fields of Italy now. We got our three phalanx units. Let's get these uh, literally as long and spread out as they can. They're going to hold a, a the center of our line um, as strong as possible with the skirmishers behind them. And the Cretan archers as well. That will be our that will be our line center. All right, I got four units of Libyan spearmen. I'll I'll shape it perfectly when the uh, deployment's done. But yeah, I want these guys guarding the flanks. And then let's just take a look at our cav force here for a second. We obviously have the war elephants finally in a fight. As well as these onagers. Onagers you can position in the dead center as well. Hold on. Right there. So, <clears throat> why don't we keep our war elephants and our cav block. I'm going to just do some quick sorting here in the cav block on that side. So sorting that. And then the front line. Then the range. Yeah, that's fine. Alright, there we go. I think that sorting is fine with me. I just wanted these guys together. Start battle. Hold up a second. I want these guys there. Onagers. Yeah, there's no range. Like, yeah, so their range lasts to about here. So the Roman army deployed all the way in the back of their zone. Um, so I'm not in range. Okay. And their ballistas, everything's moving. Alright. Is this whole one? So this line, they, I, I can have them move as one. Cannot move siege engines inside wooded areas. Alright, so let's see if I move this line forward to here. Get them moving. Yeah, we'll just... Okay, I forgot I can't actually get up there quickly because some of these units can't run. Onager's range right now is going to right about here. So I think they position in the back of the wooded area because they know I can't use my Onagers there. These guys... I, I'm not in their range yet, right? The scorpions? No, I'm not. Okay. I mean, I can't get these, uh, this wooded area, I can't get these onagers any closer. I mean, they, they set up, I mean, they literally set up right where my onagers can't, uh, hit them. So I'm going to leave my onagers on fire at will, um, as far forward as I can get them, and I'm going to take them out of the group, and the rest of the group... We're going to have them begin marching forwards. Dang, it's really frustrating to not be able to use the Onagers. Gotta be honest. That's, that's really, really annoying. Alright. You guys, why don't you move out to the flank? Their force is moving. If any of these guys, I mean, I just have them on fire at will, so if any of them pop in the range at any point, uh, I want these onagers to open up fire. Like, one of these units has got, like, this got to be pretty close. I mean, their range literally goes to here. I mean, they are right on the border of the range. 
And I'm afraid that these ballistas are going to start opening fire soon. Like, I'm going to have to advance through their ranged area. Yeah. Not yet. How's group one doing? Group one, continue your advance. These guys, continue your advance. We're gonna make all these units in the loose formation. And let's get them up there quick. I wanna get this Roman army to start moving. There we go, cavalry coming out to the flank. All right, wait, hold up. Cretans, why don't you stop? Because you're, you they're definitely in range of you. Oh, not quite yet. All right. Let's get everyone moving. Hurry up. Yeah, cav. I want the cavalry push. I want to see if I can't get these get these guys taken out. Alright, Cretans, Cretans have opened fire. There we go. My phalanxes are in position. Guard mode on. You men, you're on fire at will as well. There we go. Pop up, 30 spears. Cav, let's go take out those equites. And is it time to- Elephants are firing their arrows, which is great. And the cavalry should be able to take out those equites. There we go, their, their army is advancing into my- into my phalanx position. Kind of right between two of the units. They almost turns their whole line. Uh, kind of oddly. Uh, elephants, maybe move back into tight formation and we can- we can actually advance in. Yeah, see, what I really want to do is I really want to take out these ballistas. If I can. Their guys are doing surprisingly well here against uh, Phalanx. Alright, yeah, ballistas, go ahead and move in. On the ballistas to cavalry. Ballistas and hit the Roman general. Elephants, you want to do a thing? Go hit the Stadi. Libyan Spearmen, why don't you advance in the fight? You guys begin advancing. You guys begin advancing. You guys begin advancing. Libyan Spearmen on the flake, begin advancing. There we go. Elephants. War elephants. In the fight. Roman General's really putting up a fight, but he's about to die. There we go. Libyans, move into the Principes. Well done, elephants. Look at them throwing the Romans around. Oh, it's a mass route. It's a mass route. Let's go. Alright, generals. Generals, go take out the Roman archers and that Hastati. You guys, they're, they're starting to pull their units. They want to route out. We can't let that happen. Cretan, stop firing. I don't want to take any friendly fire. Uh, all of Group 1, uh, your job is done. Well done, guys. Oh, this unit wanted to turn and fight, huh? Alright, we can, we can take care of that. There you go. Elephants were just throwing those Roman troops around. I love it. Love it. Like ragdolls. Go take out that unit, Hastati. Come on, General. Take him out. Come on. Attack! Alright, let's do, uh... 
You guys take them out. You guys take that unit out. Take them out. Take them out. There we go. All right, that's a Julii stack down and out. What is this unit? It's actually a unit here that tried to run out this direction. Kind of interesting. Uh, why don't we just let the Cretans finish them off? Oh, whoa, 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 no, 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 oh my god. The onagers were firing. Uh, I hope I didn't take too much, uh, too much in the way of, um, friendly fire because of that. Come on, Cretans, take them out. Come on. There we go. Victory! That, what did I get? They killed 56. I lost more than 56. Alright, yeah, I probably took some friendly fire. Alright, but we have made our first excursion into the Julii Zone, and wow, we got a lot of triggers. Alright, so, Hasdrubal the Cunning got Confident Commander. Hasdrubal the Cunning got plus one command when fighting against Romans. Oh, I didn't look at the last one. I right-clicked by accident. Shoot, and he's 74, so I'm actually gonna... I'm gonna give that to this 44-year-old. We'll give the, the plus one command when fighting against Romans to the uh, younger general, who will be around longer. Oh, uh, and it looks like the other one that he got, um, Hasdrubal got, was Shieldbearer. Valor, General's Bodyguards. And again, we'll give that to the younger general as well. Um, there are probably some nice, there's probably some nice ones in here that I'm gonna want to pass along. Uh, Spymaster, you can go to the younger general. Uh, management and tax income. I mean, see, this stuff's good. This stuff's good. But um, we'll just stop there for now. And I think that's a perfect place to uh, to stop this video. Nice, nice length. Nice battles. Uh, I really hope you all enjoyed. As always, um, if you did, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I really appreciate it. Um, and I look forward to seeing everybody in the next episode, which will be part sixteen. Have a good one.